Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing a video on the Monomorium Minimum, I think. I honestly don't know what species this is, I'll be honest with you. Now for a while this was in fact the uh, the winner of the poll, but now the poll has officially switched over to Philae Obtuso Spinosa, which is uh, a big headed ant species, which don't worry, there will be a video on them coming up soon. But anyways, let's just get in with this one. So this here is my 8 to 9 to 10 queen-ish uh, monomorium minimum kind of something colony. I'm thinking it's minimum, but I'm not 100% sure because of, you know, where I collected them. But as you can see, this colony has an insane amount of brood. This colony, uh, this is all brood that they had started out with from me merging them all. I didn't record me merging them for some reason, which uh, I kind of wish I did. That way I could like kind of record the process. But I got around about like eight colonies. The majority of them merged besides for like three. And now those three are like kind of off doing their own thing. Uh, and then you have this massive colony, which I'm currently trying to grow out. This colony has been eating primarily mealworms. I've been feeding them around about, I think it's been like four to five mealworms each day. I'm trying to get them to lay more and more eggs because uh, once this brood is up, they're pretty much gonna have nothing. However, I do believe the queens have pumped out a stupid amount of eggs. However, we just cannot see them. The current colony has around about 200 to 300 workers with a good 100 plus brood just waiting to become workers and you know, a close. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this colony is going to be getting absolutely massive. Maybe not to the exact same size as to what my last Monomorium colony was, my last big huge one. Uh, but it's definitely going to get up there, probably within the 8,000 to possibly even 10,000 area. No matter what, whenever I feed these guys, they always just gorge themselves on whatever protein or sugar I throw in there. Because they just, they love it. They love it so much. They cannot stop eating due to just how many queens and how much larvae they have. Also, because they are Monomorium, they absolutely love trailing. Just like, you know, any other Monomorium pretty much. Their trailing is intense, especially when they're going to a food source. Of course, right now I'm not really showing that because all of what you're seeing is, you know, tube footage. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty intense. My hope is, is that I'll be able to at least get two or three test tubes just absolutely filled with workers and brood before moving them into a possible nest. Now as to what nest that will be is a good question because these guys love to escape. If I'm to move them into any normal nest, whether it be a formisquarium or a mini hearth or anything like that, they will 110% get out because of how small these ants are. So perhaps they will forever be living inside of a test tube. Maybe I'll be able to find a nest to move in there. Uh, maybe even an all-in-one setup, that might work. But uh, for now, they're definitely gonna stay within test tubes because if I'm to let them into anything, they're gonna immediately get out and start foraging around everywhere. In this shot also, you can end up seeing some elates as well uh, alongside you know their actual queens here. This is two of the many queens that they have just kind of chilling out with a bunch of workers and well, eggs and everything like that. Uh, the hope is to maybe get them inbreeding. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if they will inbreed. However, I'm hoping that they will. Not this year because, you know, it's a little bit too, you know, late for that. Uh, there's not even any males inside of this colony, nor is there any like male pupae or anything like that. So I doubt that these queen elates are going to end up being able to inbreed. However, next year they should be able to if I am going to assume correctly. Uh, my last colony, Monomorium Minimum, uh, they inbred despite them not, you know, being labeled as being able to inbreed. So I'm hoping that these guys, if they're Monomorium Minimum or if they're some related species, should be able to inbreed uh, given the amount of queens and, you know, genetic diversity they have. I also decided to go ahead and dump out their test tube because I didn't feel like wanting to look at them through a dirt covered, well, test tube. Uh, the viewing quality was horrible, especially for the camera, so I decided to say, you know what, I'm just gonna dump you and then have you guys move into another test tube. Uh, this does not stress out the colony as much as people think it does. They'll move into the test tube and be just right back at home uh, as they were in the dirt. Uh, if I wasn't to do this, then they just forever live in the dirt and they would never want to move into a new test tube. So it was kind of a necessary in order for you guys to get better viewing and for me to get better viewing. But when I dump, you can just see the amount of queens that are just kind of crawling around. All those slightly larger ants there are all going to be queens. 
Uh, there's not as many as what, you know, was thought, but there's, I think I counted at least eight to 10 queens within this colony, alongside a ridiculous amount of brood. Now, this was initially supposed to be an entire section of video where I showed them moving in. However, it's taking way too long and I wanted to get out the video today, even though I'm going to be getting it out super late today. I still wanted to meet that like three day deadline. So, you know, next video, you'll see them actually moved into that test tube. However, not this time. What I am going to say is that they are moving in quite well and I'm pretty happy about that. But yeah, that is about all I have to update you guys on for this colony. Uh, the colony is doing pretty amazing, and I also want to say that this is now my only Monomorium. I'm currently raising up a group of queens of Monomorium Feronis or Trichomerum Exostructor. Uh, it's kind of still out on, you know, what it is actually. We'll see once they get workers and get a little bit larger. But uh, as you can see, they're doing absolutely amazing. They are hopefully soon to get workers. I really want to get this colony going. Founding them just from queens is kind of a rarity. But uh, yeah, let's hope that they, make, that they end up making it. It looks like they will, but you know, you always got to hold out. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Subscribe if you're new. Check out all the links in the description, the Discord, the Patreon, the Instagram, and all that fun stuff in the description. Uh, next video will probably be the Fiddly Obtuso Spinoza, as of the, uh, you know, the thing wanting me to, the poll, uh, wants me to do that, according to you guys. So I will make that video, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Goodbye.